Hey everybody, it's Dylan Borland here, founder of the Borland Group, Michigan's premier real estate investment firm. And today I'm bringing to you part four of our four part series, Find, Buy, Sell. In part four of our series, Find, Buy, Sell, we will examine the last step in the fix and flip process, the sale and closing of the home. Now that your home has been renovated, it's time to get it sold and put some money back in your pocket. The sale is a crucial aspect and you want to start with your best foot forward. When getting ready to sell the house, you should first revisit the comparables in the neighborhood. In real estate, prices change, sometimes weekly. The price you had in mind when you bought the home may have gone up or it may have gone down. When looking to sell a home, we look to, pro uh, we look to price the property slightly below market value. This will cause a fast sale. In this business, the first time you place a listing on the market is usually your best chance at getting it sold. We call that the first two weeks. The longer the home sits on the market, the more people think maybe the seller is overpriced. Is there something wrong with the home? Also, the longer the home sits on the market, the more carrying costs you have for financing, electric, gas, insurance. What if the market price takes a dip? Don't hold out for the best and highest price. Price it right from the very start and come out with a bang. Our firm usually prices homes 3-5% below market value. We can do that because we plan that when we initially buy the home. Some tips on how to get a home sold quickly. Of course, price. Price it right. Make sure you are priced right from the very start, slightly below market value. This means that you want to price it in relation to the homes that have sold, not the homes that are listed on the market. Most listings are overpriced, so never base your evaluations on what's listed, only what's sold. I don't even look at what's listed. Make sure the house shows well. The landscaping is nice, the house is clean and fresh. We place lavender air fresheners throughout to add to the senses. Consider pre-selling the home on Zillow. Our firm most often will list a home on Zillow two weeks before the MLS. A good time to do this is the last two weeks of the renovation. The goal is speed, keep the capital moving. About 30% of our homes sell without having to be listed on the MLS. This means no buyer's agent, this means we can put that 3% commission in our pocket. You can also do a reverse MLS search for all cash buyers two to five miles from your property. Prepare a quality color property flyer and mail it out to each person asking them to come see your property and write an offer. You'd be amazed at how many cash buyers there are going to be within a two to five mile radius of your particular home. The other thing you can do is remember, when an offer comes in, your first offer is usually your best. Give it serious consideration and try to make it work. I have seen too many investors say, well, I just listed the home and I don't want to take the first offer I get, let's give it some time. Guys, let me tell you, time in this business is not your friend, okay? If it's a serious, well-qualified buyer, take it and move it fast and get on to the next property. Make sure any offer you get, you strictly look into the buyer's financials. Make sure the lender has truly qualified them and that this buyer is committed to the home. The last thing you want is an unserious buyer who in the end may not get financing. Now you spent 40 to 50 days closing on the property and the property has to come back on the market. This is very costly. Take the steps to really put the buyer through the ringer on qualification. Set clear expectations up front. You guys don't have time to play around. So this brings us to the conclusion of our four part series, Find, Buy, Sell. Make sure you guys leave some comments below. If you have questions or want additional topics covered or expanded, we're happy to join in discussion. Check us out on the web at www.theborlandgroupllc.com and happy and profitable investing everybody.